Good afternoon, everyone. Today I would like to talk about early November record snowfalls across the entire northern hemisphere. With the sunspot count diminishing and forecast to be less intense than the last couple of solar cycles, it looks as though we're going to start to get into cooler temperatures, repeating some cycle that you would have seen in the 1800s during the Dalton minimum or the Maunder minimum during the 1600s. We could be heading for something like this, and if we were, there should be quite a few signs around us. Things that make you say, wow, that is completely unusual and out of season. Things like snow, cold, these types of things. Storms. Quick trip around the blogosphere. Right away, notice Maine record snows. Upper Midwest record snows. Southeast United States record snows. In the Snow has some great posts on where the snows are happening in Europe for the ski resorts. Heavy snow in September, record snow in November, heavy October snows in Europe as well. Does seem to be happening quite a few places. The snowstorm in Maine had 80,000 without power. It's that heavy, wet, thick, sticky snow. Turns to snow just above the freezing temperature. Comes down in big flakes and kicks everything. This graphic from Weatherbell shows exactly the totals that were over the New England states. About a foot, two feet. That's 30 to 60 centimeters. Daily snowfall totals November 3rd for a single day is about a foot in the high areas there noticed in the yellow and the orange. This is a numerical chart here. Maybe easier for you to get a grasp on it. 21 inches again is around 2 feet or 60 centimeters. It's a bit less, probably 54 centimeters or so. The Northeast United States was not the only place where it was cold. Florida and Ocala Broke a temperature record back to 1850. That's right, 1850. Also in Naples, they had their coolest temperature since 1962. This is just the beginning. It's early November. This is going to intensify through the next couple of months. And these types of snow waves, depositing a foot each time, 30 centimeters, has a strain on the infrastructure, the gas delivery lines, the electrical lines to heat people's home with the electric heaters. All these things, the roads, the roads need to be salted, extra snow crews are out. Every road's covered in incredible thick, wet, heavy snow that's hard to drive through. So keeping the infrastructure lanes open will be draining on the state budgets or national budgets for a lot of countries this year or states. The North American snow extent for just the fall has a noticeable upward trend. And where it's trending is right over the northern Great Lakes area where I had talked about in one of my earlier videos it should freeze enough in there to cause some real problems this year with Great Lakes shipping especially that strangle point up there in northern Lake Michigan and I'll pop back to the Maunder minimum temperature reconstruction here you can see the dark blue right now November is exactly where it was on the map 400 years ago I'm just showing you that these things are a pattern is emerging going into the next couple of years the exact same thing but colder enough to affect crop production would there be any kind of telltale signs statistically? Let's look to see how many records were broken. We're going to go for maximum snowfall at the very bottom blue bar. 498 records from January 1st to October 9th. This is for the low minimum temperature. Again, 492 records that same time period. 500 records here for the low maximum temperature, all centered in that same northeast, southeast United States area. The maximum temperature records, there's only 44, the exact same time period. And when we go with the maximum rainfall, think about rain as snow as well. It's just depending on the temperature is what it is. So this could be snowflakes. And when it, if there's heavier rainfall in many areas, when it gets into the winter and the cooler months, that rain will turn to snow. So if there are 497 records broken in the first 10 months, there'll be that many snow records in the same places. For an example, Appalachian snowfall in the Smoky Mountains. That's South Carolina, Tennessee, North Carolina right there in the tri-state area. 14 inches of snow. They usually get an inch. That's 14 times higher than usual at that time of the year. Even on a maximum, okay, I'll give you, let's say it's 2 inches. Well, that's still 7 times higher than normal this early in the season. Just a glimpse for you out of an airplane window here, what the Smoky Mountains looked like after the front cleared through. And this is the snowfall that was deposited. And these Arctic outbreaks are just going to continue wave after wave. Already 20 degrees Fahrenheit below. Temperatures in a lot of places forecast to get colder with an ER, -er, cold er. 
And you notice that horseshoe dip down in the jet stream, polar vortex, solar forcing, whatever you like to call it, it's the same pattern. And I would like to leave you with a picture from June 1st of the ice around Marquette, Michigan. There should be a repeat again of ice lasting far longer than normal. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a better idea about where our climate is heading.